This is the car park at Linnadee where I'll be starting the walk today. I'm going to use the bike today to cycle along to Derry Lodge and then I'll walk onwards along to Crayer Bothy. Here's the path that I'll be going along. The distance from the car park along to Derry Lodge is 3 miles and the bike is a big advantage to get you along the road quickly. It's relatively flat, only one or two small ups and downs, but by far it's the better way to get yourself along to Derry Lodge. I'm just coming into Derry Lodge here, where I'll leave the bike and continue on foot. Well, I've come off the bike now and heading across the, the ground here. You can see the path going straight ahead there. It's just come out of the remnants of the old pine forest here. That's a little big burn you can see in front. And I'm now walking across this way, following the path in distance there. This is the point in the path where you've got to make up your mind. Continuing straight ahead, you head towards the Blue Big Burn and the Stepping Stones. Now that's fine as long as there isn't too much water. But if there is, you only need to take this path which takes you towards the bridge. The only trouble with that is that the land on both sides of the bridge is very, very boggy. So I'm going to take the one towards the Stepping Stones and hope for the best. Well, this is the stepping stones area and I'm going to be a fierty and opt out of that at least I could end up with more than wet feet so I'll just take this path heading this way towards the bridge and here's the bridge going across the little big burn and then the muddy part usually starts on the other side just up this way Well, I'm back on track now. That's the path that goes up towards Corral itself. And then looking back over this way is towards the bridge, which I came across. And then slightly around to the right, this is the way I would have come up had I come across the stepping stones. Well, I'm up at the top of the, the path. Not quite the highest point, but that's the hardest part of the climbing done. And you can see the path over there which I came through and the Lubig burn running on the right. I've reached the highest point in the path, it's about 610 metres and uh, that's the way which I've just come along and this is looking down the River D. Devil's Peak. Cairn Tool and Bray Reich. And just in the distance you can see the Bothy. This is where the path splits. The one going up to the right there will take you over the Larrig Grew, which is over in this direction. Well, the one I'm going to follow is this way here, over to uh, Bothy, over at Carrow. Just about to go across this bridge, over the D. Well, I've arrived at Carrow Bothy. At distance in total it's about just over eight and a half miles and it's taken me just under three hours, that's including the wee bit of time I saved on the bike. 
Yes, the water, I'll have a look inside me. On the left there's a built up bed area which you can get a couple of people into and underneath there's space for another couple of bedrolls down there. Plus a good bit of area on the, on the floor where you can lay sleeping bags out. And two nice plastic chairs and the all important fire. Over in the corner there's usually one or two bits and pieces of tins or food or essentials that some people have left. Dominoes in case you get bored. So it's a nice tidy little body. Good roof. And best of all, next door, there's a toilet. So down the side and up the steps here you can see the toilet area. Just have a look inside. Quite reasonable. One working toilet there. Well, I've spent a very enjoyable hour here at the Bothy, so it's time now to pack up the gear and walk back down that road again. Back down the path there, and over the hillside, over here.